How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in this guitar lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Boogie Wonderland as recorded by Earth, Wind & Fire on guitar. Now this is a funky tune that has one main chord progression that's four bars long. That's the majority of the song. Then there's also a bridge section. I'm going to break the whole thing down for you step by step so when you're done with this tutorial you'll have everything you need to play along with the original recording. Before we dive into it though, I want to hook you up with a gift right away at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack and these are some digital downloads that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching the videos, you're going to get so much more out of being able to follow along with a good tab. So check that out as my gift to you at the first link down below and with that said, let's break this song down. Let's learn how to play Boogie Wonderland on guitar as recorded by Earth, Wind & Fire. Now we're going to start off with our main chord progression that goes through the majority of the song and then we're also going to learn a bridge. Here's what the main progression sounds like. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're going to start on a D minor 7 here, and we're going to use three chord shapes. The song's in the key of D minor. We're going to play starting on the fifth string. We've got 5, 7, 5, 6, and that's our D minor 7. It's going to go for two bars. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to go to a G minor 7, and I play this with my thumb on the 6th string, 3rd fret, and then index finger bars 3 strings there. The 4th string, 3rd string, and 2nd string at the 3rd fret. And then we're going to go up to an A7, which a lot of times I'll play like this with my thumb as well since I'm here. I'll just move that shape up but then make it a, a major 3rd there, so I've got thumb on the root, 5th fret of the 6th string, then index on the 5th fret of the 4th string, and I'm using ring finger here on the 6th fret of the 3rd string. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's our main groove. It's just four bars long. That's the majority of the song. Now, when I add some more rhythm with it, we're going to spice it up just a little bit. In the first bar, you'll see in the tab, which you can get at the link below, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and. This is of the main groove here. We're going to rest on beat 1, then strum on beat 2. 1, 2, and then 3, and 4, and. So it's 2, and then the and of 3 that we're strumming on. 1, 2, 3, and 4, and. Then we go 1, 2, 3, and 4, and. So that's quarter note on the downbeat, hitting just that bass note. Then a strum, rest up strum. One, two, three, and four, and. And that's our main pattern is that bar right there. One, two, three, and four, and. And then we'll do the same on the G minor. One, two, three, and four, and. So it's essentially beat two and then the and of one, two, three, and, the and of three. But if I'm playing by myself, a lot of times I'll incorporate a bass note in there. So that's where I'm hitting the bass note there with my thumb. But in the first bar, we don't do that because we're going to lead in with this. See that? So that's what happens in the A7 bar. We do three quarter notes, one, two, three. Then we switch to the third fret of the fifth string and go three, five, da, da. So it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So right after that, there's a rest, and that's why in the first bar of the main groove, we're resting on the downbeat. So altogether, if we start at the very beginning of the song, it actually starts on the A7, and then we go into that main groove. So that's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and. And 
And that goes over and over until we get to about a minute and 37 seconds. Then we go to the B section, which is the only other part of this tune. Let me break that down for you. Here we're gonna go to a B flat over C. And this is just a bar here with our index finger starting on the third fret of the fifth string. We're gonna go three, 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 three. So this is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. We're back to the main groove there. So what happened here was two bars. This is starting from the B section in the tab. We've got a B flat over C. One, two, three, four for two bars. Then we go into this three bar progression that's repeated. So it's a little funny here because it's like a three bar phrase. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is an A minor seven to a D minor seven. Now the A minor seven is just like the G minor seven that we played here, just two frets higher. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four, then B flat over C for a bar. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, B flat over C, repeat that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, then we go A minor, D minor, G minor, B flat over C, E minor 7, which is the same as that D minor, just up two frets, then A7, then D minor 7 for a bar, D minor 7 over C. So what I'm doing there is just putting a C in the bass. Very common chord progression. It's like a walk down. G minor 7, and then we go. That's how we get out of the B section, just one and two and three and four. And... So all together, if I play uh, this, the bottom two lines of the tap, so after the repeating three bar phrase, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, C in the bass. G minor seven, last bar, and one and two and three and four. So that's one and two and three and four and all downs. I'm just hitting those hits. Ba 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 ba. One, two, three, and four and one. Back to the main groove. So here's the whole B section again. This starts at a minute and 37 seconds. Here's what it sounds like played as one piece. One, two, three, four. Again. Congrats on making it through this lesson. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna give you some exclusive downloads that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And it's just gonna make learning from my videos so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. Thank you so much for your support here on the channel, and we'll see you in another video real soon.